Pennsylvania, key state for control of the Senate. And last night, John Fetterman squared off with Mehmet Oz in their first and only debate. Congressional correspondent Rachel Scott was on the scene in Harrisburg. Good morning, Rachel. George, good morning. The stakes are high and the circumstances are unique. John Fetterman, the Democrat, is still recovering after suffering a stroke. And even his campaign will tell you this is unprecedented. Never before in such a high profile race has closed captioning been used during a debate and Fetterman addressed it head on. From the start of the debate, Democrat John Fetterman cut to the chase, directly addressing what he called the elephant in the room. I had a stroke. He's never let me forget that. And I might miss some words during this debate, mush two words together, but it knocked me down, but I'm going to keep coming back up. Behind the moderators, two big monitors, questions and answers were closed captioned, so Fetterman could read them to help with lingering auditory processing issues that doctors say are normal in recovery. Nearly six months after his stroke, Fetterman would not promise to release his medical records. To me, for transparency, is about showing up. My doctor believes that I'm fit to serve, and, and that's what I believe is appropriate. In their first and only debate, the candidates on the attack. It's the Oz rule. He's on TV and he's lying. Oz hitting back. This is the only debate I could get you to come to talk to me on, and I had to beg on my knees to get you to come. Fetterman asked if he supports President Biden's student loan forgiveness program. It's about supporting and helping, you know, young Earners, excuse me, young, young, uh, young, you know, students to, to give them a break. His campaign acknowledges ongoing auditory processing challenges are real. But on a major issue of the night, abortion, Fetterman drawing a clear contrast. I want women, doctors, local uh, political leaders, letting the democracy that's always allowed our nation to thrive, to put the best ideas forward so states can decide for themselves. If you believe that the choice for abortion belongs between you and your doctor, that's what I fight for. While Dr. Ron zeroed in on rising crime. We have taken away the ability of police to do their job, and that's on John Fetterman. He has never made any attempt to try to address crime during his entire career, except showing up for photo ops here in Philadelphia. The two candidates telling voters why they are the right man for the job here in Pennsylvania. I started as a GED instructor back in, in Braddock over 20 years ago because I believe it's about serving Pennsylvania, not about using Pennsylvania. I'm a surgeon. I'm not a politician. We take big problems, we focus on them, and we fix them. We do it by uniting, by coming together, not dividing. And so in a sign of just how important this race is, Republicans are pouring more than $6 million in the final stretch to support Dr. Oz. The political group behind it is linked to Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell, one senior Republican official putting it this way, saying, quote, if we win Pennsylvania, we win the majority. George, they are calling this a must-win race. It is the, one of the key ones. Okay, Rachel, thanks very much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.